in our sector, regulation is still important. Look, what the Commerce Commission and the regulators have done today is largely structural. They've made structural changes, the mobile termination rates, the separation of telecom, the establishment of the fiber initiative. The next set of important things is behavioral. Big regulation tends to open up competition, but actual stifle service creation, which I've seen quite a bit around. Regulation stifles innovation. And, you know, had the government jumped in 20 years ago or whenever and regulated telecom, you probably wouldn't have Vodafone. And if that hadn't happened, you wouldn't have two degrees. And those are good things for the industry. Those are great things for the consumer. Where there is a competitive market, then there's no need for regulation at all. And, and you know, a lot of work's been done over the last couple of years around the mobile. We may be in a position now where we have a competitive market. We don't need government intervention from a regulatory perspective. It's no surprise that with mobile regulation last year that the mobile telcos lost a hell of a lot of money. That money would at some point naturally gone to deploy and upgrade their network. And in some cases they're talking hundreds of millions of dollars of lost revenue. Regulation is a bad thing. It really has to be the last option. I think New Zealanders are waking up to the fact that everything should be based off of the commercials because it will happen organically and that will happen in an innovative way. Regulatory is not going to achieve you know, what people really need in terms of business improvement or growth. It's a lot more fun to work in a market where you know, the market works as opposed to some kind of intervention. In terms of termination rates, that probably did need to be regulated. So that is a healthy use of regulation. We're still concerned about on-net discounting. So if you make it cheaper to call only your customer, right? Vodafone to Vodafone, telecom to telecom. Those kind of behavioral things that, that the Commerce Commission needs to continue to watch to make sure that the, the competition, it, it is a level playing field, to make sure you're getting innovation and you're not getting anti-competitive things that go on that, that large incumbents tend to do. <laughs>